Hello everyone and welcome back to Spore Omnom Omnivore Edition and we are here trying to develop the little skills that we as tiny little- oh, oh, can I eat him? Oh cool, I got some food, awesome. But we are here trying to develop our skills as a potential omnivore in our Omnom Omnivore Spore playthrough- get in my mouth for crying out loud. Ooh, that, that was really cool. It was like I had a side of algae with the meat that I was just eating. Alright, and let's wiggle away so I don't get eaten by that thing. Hey, hey you guys back off. You are such little... Oh my gosh. That's right. Get away from me. Okay, thank goodness. I finally defended myself. But I am so excited to see how many of you were absolutely thrilled that we are playing Spore. A lot of you guys had no idea that we have actually done two entire Spore playthroughs before. All the way up to Space Stage and beyond. Oh, look at the size of the seashell. <gasps> I love it. It's so amazing. Why can't I have a seashell? Hey, that's what you get for trying to eat me. You little, you little no good jerk face. All right, let's see. And I actually need to find the omnivore mouth. So let's go find one of the sucky dudes. <gasps> Look, it's one of the sucky dudes. Oh no, and I'm being attacked, plagued by these little parasites. All right, oh no, oh no, sucky dude, no, I was supposed to eat you, not you eat me. <laughs> this has gone completely the wrong way. <laughs> oh my gosh, all right, let's try this again. I need to go, I need, to, you know what? I need a mate. I need a mate and she needs to help me lay some eggs and make some babies with some better defense. So let's wiggle over here. I need to get out of this little primordial tide pool. Hey, don't poke each other with the little spikes. That, that's not, that's not what we're supposed to be doing here. I think my mate just got eaten by those little parasites just as we came over here too. That's hilarious. All right, but anyway, yay! Thank you guys so much for your support and your excitement over Spore. I am just thrilled that so many of you are really looking forward to it, that so many of you can't wait to see what we are going to be doing uh, as our little, our little creatures. We're still working on survival at this stage. Um, we're not doing a very good job of it, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. We're going to make ourselves a little bit more defensive. I wish we could move a little faster. Here, I'll get rid of these spikes and then... Oh, that's not enough for a flagella. And then, yes, we are going to be unlocking the omnivore mouth before we move on because we do want to become an omnivore this time. We have already played as the gentle herbivores using our little filter mouth as the finna. So we do have two other spore let's plays. They're linked in the video description down below. We have one as the finna, our spacefaring bird slugs. And then we have another as the leopli, our amazing hyena-like creatures who aggressively took over all of the galaxy and tried to cover everything in barbecue sauce to eat. So we've done those two Let's Plays and we're still probably always going to be going back and visiting with the Finna and the Leo Plea just when I'm in the mood for it or you guys request it. But this time we are going to try making a really cool bird creature because that's been hugely requested. At least we'll see if that's where this little tiny itty bitty cellular creature still swimming in the primordial tide pool will evolve into. But we are going to try being a omni- omni Omnivorous bird. That's kind of our goal. If that's actually what we become, who knows? All right, so a jet. I want a jet. Give me that jet. The jet would be so cool. Forget like having little flagella. I want, I want a spiky back and butt and I want a jet to get me like really moving and grooving. That's so cool. And let's make our little spike bigger. And then a lot of you guys are saying we should probably, I'll put the filter mouth on the side, you know, like you have a side salad and then we're going to put the jaw, we're going to make the jaw bigger. A lot of you are saying if we did that, then we'll probably be able to eat the meat and attack things because the jaw has a little bit of an attack to it, hunting the other cells. Uh, so hopefully this will balance this out a little bit more. We look so, <laughs> I mean, I guess maybe if I make the front a little smaller. There we go. I mean, maybe that could work. Here, you know what? I'm gonna try this. We're gonna get rid of that. We're gonna put the jaw on the front. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, that's looking a little better. And then maybe we'll put the spiky doos like right there. All right, so we've upgraded a little bit. We look pretty fierce if you ask me. We look like a true fighter. How does it look once we have our little paint on? Yeah, look at us. Look at us. This, this is the new us. This is the new look. So let's go ahead. Where's my little... Uh, where's my little accepty button? Uh, is it hiding? Oh no, hang on just a second. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. It wasn't in full screen mode, so I couldn't actually see my own little save spot. All right, so there we go. Hopefully, 
There, hopefully this will make us more fierce. Oh, look at my little jet, my little jet butt. Hopefully that'll make us move faster. Oh, you're looking awesome, fellow creature. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's go see if we can find our omnivorous mouth. So what we need is we need to seek out the little sucky dude and he will actually have the piece that we need to collect. There he is, there he is. Our prey is sighted, let's go get him. Let's go get him. But yeah, I am so thrilled to see so many of you guys are really looking forward to and really excited for, come on, no, you're gonna, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I really need to get you, come on. Chase him down, for sport. All right, come on, oh, we're getting him. We're getting him, guys. <laughs> He's trying to eat on the run to get away from us, but it's not gonna work. Get out of my way, body of the fallen vanquished enemy. Look at those two fight, that's so cool. All right, almost there. I want my omnivore mouth so we can climb out. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. No, dang it, he gave us fins. I didn't want fins. I wanted his little, his little sucky mouth thing. Dang it, all right. And we can't even eat him. Bah. All right, so we're gonna have to find another one of those guys. Maybe we'll switch from having a jet butt to having fins instead, and we'll see how we do. But yeah, I love Spore. I'm super excited to be here. I was blown away by how excited you guys were too. For crying out loud. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Go, little jet, go. I wanna get him. I wanna get, get away from me. Trying to eat me? That's what you get. That's what you get. All right, come here, buddy. Don't you get me with that little mouth. I love all of his eyeballs. They're just the best. All right, come on, come on, come on. I need to eat you. It's not personal. <gasps> yes, yes, we got all of the parts. We got all the parts. Quick, where is my mate? Well, you're you're quite awesome looking too, but I need to come over here and, and I'll choose this one as my mate instead. Yes, we're gonna be able to climb up out of the tide pool, guys. It's almost like the flagella are, are used for display at this point. That's very interesting. All right, so finally, we can become an omnivore. We need to get rid of the other mouths, and then we need to put the little omnivore mouth on the front. And I think we'll actually get rid of the jet, and let's try it with a bunch of the cilia. There we go, look at those guys. All right, and maybe we'll have, hmm. I wonder if we should have something on the back. Maybe a spike? I kind of wish we could keep the filter mouth because it looked like they were almost using them as display pieces, but I think that will mess us up for being an omnivore when we get to land. So we'll just leave a spike on our, our rump. There we go. All right, so the little chemists are ready to go. I'm so excited. We're gonna get out of the land, or onto land, I mean. Out of the water, onto land. Ooh, look at this pretty seashell, I really like it. All right, so let's do this. We are going to advance to the creature stage. Da -na, na 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 and we can see the history of the generations go by. Uh, no, I don't wanna be an herbivore. <laughs> Dang it, no, 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 no. No, we're an omnivore, omnivore, gosh darn it. I don't wanna be an herbivore. I guess I need to eat like a lot more meat. I take it back! I take it back! No! Omnivore! Dang it, I forgot that it depends on how much meat you eat. Um, okay. Hang on just a second here, guys. Oh, never mind. I didn't have to have a sudden panic. We're totally fine. We've still got our little omnivore mouth. Okay, so I, I wonder if that's only going to let us just find... Like, the omnivore mouths when we're in creature stage, it's been so long. I've never tried to not just go solid omnivore or herbivore for years. So we're gonna figure this out. I'm pretty happy with what we've got, but we do need to give ourselves some little legs, some really awkward little legs. So let's see, I feel like, I feel like that would be kind of silly. All right, let's yank up. Hmm, I wonder how our eyeballs would start working. I feel like maybe we should have Maybe we should have one of the stock eyes to start with. Would it look behind us? <laughs> would, would we have like multi, multi-angled vision all over the place? Huh, huh, interesting. Or maybe, maybe that's like the fake sort of eyeballs that moths have to be like, I'm watching you from behind even though it's really their wings. So maybe we'll do that. Uh, and we'll, we'll evolve things over time to make them a little bit more interesting. I wonder what the cilia can help us do at this stage. Uh, let's see what it's, uh, its ability to do. Oh, jump, lots of jumping. I wanna do so much jumping. That's gonna be really fun. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll do maybe this leg right here. Try it out, try it out. I kinda wanna do a couple little legs. So let's get this little guy down here 
and then let's shrink we want to make him really small we'll shrink his little whoa not that small shrink his little feet shrink his little knees that's pretty good maybe tilt the there we go not bad not bad I'm actually pretty happy with that Maybe I can just shift that over there. Can I copy it? Dang it, I need like 50 to copy. Do we have 50? No, we have zero. Um, hmm. We might ease up on some of our spike itch then. What if we ease up on that spike? Not so bad, not so bad. I guess we need a lot more energy for legs than I realized. Uh, I kind of want to just have more energy for the... There we go. Look at how cute we are! Oh my gosh! Put your mouth back in the front. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious. That's kind of adorable. It's kind of like a little a little finch thing. And we'll put the spikes on the back maybe. And then he'll, he can keep some in the front. Kind of like a defensive thing. There we go. Angle him that way. <gasps> He's actually really cute. Okay, we'll start with this. And we'll wiggle our way up over time, but I'm actually really happy with this. Hopefully I didn't mess everything up. And if I take care to eat a good balance between uh, the meat and the fruit, we'll be able to continue on our omnivore route. So we'll keep them maybe blue. Should I try changing a color? We have blue for the finna. I think it's actually like this blue. And then we have uh, purple for the Leo play. Should I make you? Ah, oh, you're so cute. I guess I'm kind of thinking we want to make them bright like birds. So, huh. What do you guys think? What would we, maybe like pepperminty color? Ooh, what about this kind of purpley? Uh, no, maybe not that one. Let's see, let's see. What would work really well for kind of more of a bird look? Maybe like a little bumblebee bird? Let's see what you look like. Oh, it's cute. Dang it, you're cute too. This one is like the classic bird sort of colors. Hmm, it's a little bit busy for what we're going for right now, though. All right, what do you think? Ah, oh, this one's really cute! I really love this one! Okay, then maybe we'll go with this one for now. And we'll just have to, like, work from here. Can I, can I see? Oh, looky at him. Oh, look at him, guys. I'm not really sure what we have created here. But let's go for it. So the chemists are kind of, like, they've kind of shrunk down. Hopefully those cilia can help us jump pretty far. And we're gonna reticulate our spines. Oh my gosh, you guys remember reticulating spleens from the original Sims? I don't know how many of you guys would have even have seen the original Sims, but man, it was fun. And we do have dozens and dozens and dozens of spore creatures off of the database downloaded as well. So expect to see a lot of unique creatures that are actually going to show up in our world. And if you have some unique creatures uploaded to the spore database, then just like leave your your, your name in the comments and I will try to go in and install them into our game and this is so pretty <gasps> our world is beautiful you guys oh my gosh I'm so excited to be out of the tide pool let's go find some some seashells and let's go find some parts oh my goodness look at all of this this is gorgeous how is this so pretty I don't remember it being so pretty yay Yay, we can jump! Okay, let's go find stuff! <gasps> Over here! There's already some bones where we can find oh, some new parts! I'm so excited! Come on, do it, little guy! Yay! Alright, so we found an herbivore mouth. I may have ruined things forever with creating a proper omnivore, but you know what? I tried. Is there just like a dead body here? Guys, there's just a dead body of some sort of peppermint in front of me. Okay, we're eating an ooply. <laughs> Okay, you know what? I'm not gonna complain. It's free food. We're omnivores. We can do this. I'm just going to like suck his guts out, which is what you do, I suppose. Uh, hopefully that gave me some experience. That was pretty interesting. Look at our baby. That's so cute. All right. Uh, there's a thing. There's a thing. What are you? What are you? Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. I know a lot of you guys consider creature stage your favorite. So what is your favorite stage? Cause, okay, can we, can we befriend him? Can I sing or anything? I don't think I can even sing. Well, maybe I can. All right, we met another species. Let's ally them. Hey, slug thing. I'm gonna sing at ya. What do you think about that, huh? Oh, yay, we're friends. No, not right now. Not right now, fellow cumus. I don't want, I don't want a mate right now. I'm busy trying to befriend slugs. Oh my gosh, look at us just pushing through 
all of the adorable grass. This is so pretty. It's amazing how well, considering how old this game is, everything has aged. Yay! I think I'm making friends amongst the slugs. Oh, there's the alpha. If we befriend him, we'll get lots of DNA points. Hello, alpha. I too can, can squeak. What do you think? We'll squeak to each other and then... Yes, all right. Oh, look at that. We got a really cool like birdie looking mouth thing. I do think that we're sort of stuck with never having the omnivore mouths, which makes me kind of annoyed, but I may have to keep our little sucky thing forever then and just have multiple mouths. What's this? It's so cool. Guys, our world is so pretty. I can't believe how pretty it is. I don't remember it being this pretty. Always remember to set your spore settings super high because I always forget to do that for creature stage and this is just gorgeous. Look at me go! Also, I can kind of jump. I can't wait to get more abilities to jump more. Oh, and then there's something over here. Why, hello, long-eyed freep. Why don't I just come over and uh, sing your way? What do you think about that? All right, so these guys also look pretty simple. Yay! All right, so befriended that one. Let's come over and befriend this guy. I wonder what we could learn from them. Oh, they have like a little cilia thing in the back that looks like a little, um, like a little crest. That's pretty cool. Yes. All right. So got the suckle pod and then let's befriend this guy over here. The more allies we have, the better we can fight off any of the giant epics that try to show up. <gasps> did our little brain just grow? It did. Oh man. I really like these guys. And doink. Good job, little wine. All right, progress is being made. I am so happy. This is so much fun. I forgot how much I adore Creature Stage. If it's your favorite, let me know because we might spend a little bit of extra time just gathering all of the parts and things like that. All right, we got the palm walker. And then let's see if we can find, oh, oh, oh. We'll find one more nest today and then we'll go back over to our nest. It's more slugs. Hello, slug friends. You're going to be a slug friend, right? What do you think? All right. And then eventually we're going to have to get fancier feet. Thankfully, slugs don't have feet, so I don't have to impress them with dancing, but they, they would very much like us to show off the clippity. All right, and we're gonna come over here and we're gonna sing at these guys. And yay! We're gonna be known as excellent singers. It kind of makes me want to get the mouth that's gonna have like the best singing for us, for sure. All right, so we have befriended another little tribe. I'm so happy. We're adorable. I actually really love being so tiny. And I love that we're just kind of like zipping around, singing to all of the, the little itty bitties. And this is actually a really, really beautiful planet to be on. I am super duper impressed with it. I cannot wait until we can find out what else is within our solar system. What is that? What is that over there? After all, is that a moon? Do we have a moon on this planet? That would be amazing. We won't know those answers until we advance into the future. We become a civilized society and eventually launch ourselves into space. So I'm really looking forward to figuring all of that out. And I cannot wait to share the spore journey with you guys. I, again, just thank you. I had no idea you would be so blown away with having Spore come back and with doing it for our Summer in Space special, which has been off to a rocky start due to me moving to Taiwan, but is finally beginning. What the heck? Finally beginning to take off. What is this? I forgot what this is. Why is it in my nest? I, I feel uncomfortable about this, mate. All right. Well, we're going to poke this. I, for, I know what it is, but I've, I've forgotten. So maybe I don't know. Ah! Ah! What are you doing here? What kind of... What just happened? Did we just adopt someone? <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna figure out what to do about this baby slug that just showed up in my yard next time. So I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.